Tonight, we're focusing on a new Caribbean initiative that hopes to bring new money, new energy, and new opportunities into the region. Good evening. Welcome to Beyond the Headlines. It's a program designed to bring just that, empower regional residents and business owners by bringing them a wonderful opportunity. We are happy to have the creators of that program live on this evening's show, Ambassador Dr. Andre Thomas, co-chairman of Upturn Funds and co-chair and CEO of Upturn Caribbean, and Pastor Eddie Victor, who is the Bahamas' representative for Upturn Funds. Now, I'm happy that they're all joining me via Zoom this evening, and I know I missed out one person, so it'll be great if you can int introduce her to the audience, but I'm excited to get started, and so let's just talk about that. A major part of the vision of this program that a number of people are buzzing about, and we're going to talk about the farming aspect of it uh, uh, in, in another segment, um, but let's just talk about the investment opportunities, the the, the get, being able to tap into new opportunities, um, opportunities. And so let's just talk about it. A major part of the vision of Upturn Funds, by the way, yes, Jennifer Highlands, thank you very much. My team assisted me with that, um, is also on Zoom. And they are coming in from Barbados as well as Freeport, Grand Bahama. Um, a major focus on vision of Upturn Funds is to bring more business from the United States to the Caribbean, the entire Caribbean. Talk about how Upturn is making that happen. Perhaps I'll start with you, Mr. Ambassador, and good evening to you. Good evening to you, and uh, it's such a pleasure to be on your show, and uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be speaking to your audience in the Bahamas. And uh, what we really want to do is leverage the Caribbean diaspora. Uh, there are 11 million plus, uh, according to uh, the census, the 2017 census. And we certainly know that uh, it's a lot more than that because, you know, some people are hiding. <laughs> I'm just having fun. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so so it's way more than that. It's way more than 11 million people, and uh, and the numbers have really grown. So so one of the initiatives that we have is is really to leverage that for Caribbean development because what we've done is this. I understand that money never leaves the planet. Mm -hmm. Whenever there's a recession. Okay, whenever there is a, a challenge financially, money does not leave the planet. Mm -hmm. all, all that happens is that money is an entity that circulates. And what happens, its circulation pattern changes. So when, when the circulation pattern of money changes, if you're not creative to find out where that money is circulated, you will be left administrating diminishing circulation of money. <laughs> this is very key principle. Mm -hmm. And so what we've done is we've looked at globally where money is circulating and where we can actually leverage that circulation of money for the benefit of the Caribbean. Now that doesn't take administration or management, that takes leadership because you gotta be very creative in order to do so. So one example of this is what we've done in the area of real estate. So we have partnered with the only company in the history of the US that has been able to leverage US mortgage credit to enable people to purchase homes outside of the USA. Now, this is uh, uh, one of the top mortgage finance companies in the USA. Okay, First Mortgage, they have, uh, they're in 47 states and uh, they have uh, an asset base of over $4 billion. And they actually um, have a project in Costa Rica for American retirees, which is a $1 billion project. Mm -hmm. And you can actually purchase homes there 
in Costa Rica as a U.S. Okay, citizen. Which and is and, and obviously removing any any bit of difficulty, the red tape, all of that, because obviously Everything. it's it's developing a new economy with, with spin-off opportunities. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So what we did, I I actually spoke to our JV partners and suggested we do that within the Caribbean. And so we studied the Caribbean and in August at the conference in Barbados, we're going to be launching Landman Finance, which is going to provide U.S. mortgages for the Caribbean diaspora. And, are you uh, are you only targeting the, the members of the Caribbean diaspora or nope. are you also nope. targeting Americans as, as Costa Rica all is Americans, doing? All Americans, all Americans, all Americans. But we, we, we have grouped them into three groups. The first group will be the diaspora, because even within the 4 million mortgagees that uh, uh, our JV partners uh, uh, actually have on their books, a significant number are from the Caribbean and would want to have second homes. And a significant number are from Bahamas <laughs> and uh, would love to. Now they have an opportunity to invest in their country and get a second home. You're right, because and, and every this, because you hear many people talk about wanting to have a summer home, a vacation home, right. even even make it a, an, a, um, an investment opportunity when they're not using it. Like a lot can happen from it. Let's just talk about how will this further grow, you think, economies and more importantly, empower individuals in the region? Okay, now because we're dealing with commercial as well, because they can get mortgages for residential and commercial. It gives the opportunity for JV partnerships to be created between, okay, families in which one is in the States, has US credit. It, it, gives, uh, it gives the possibilities for significant partnerships to be created and bring US credit in that's at a much lower mortgage rate, much lower interest rate. So the cost of borrowing is less. So that initiative alone is going to really release a lot into the economy. That sounds really, really good. And I'm certain, I mean, how are you getting this message out to the region? The region is right now seeking, seeking for new opportunities, seeking to diversify, seeking to not be as vulnerable as we all were during the pandemic. How is this message getting out to the region? We're making a lot of progress. Uh, we, we, we are in contact with other governments. We, we, we are on the media. We've done a lot of promotion about this in order to really get the message out. And uh, the key thing we're now doing is letting real estate agents and real estate developers know across the region that they can register to come to the event and they can register at no cost to be able to cross sell this particular product on their platform. So we're inviting anyone who is in the real estate business, anyone who is a developer, anyone who works in that space can actually register and let in the diaspora and American citizens know as well. Pastor that, Eddie, well. Pastor Eddie, perhaps you can jump in here. Let's talk about the launch of a program that allows Bahamian real estate brokers and developers the opportunity to offer U.S. mortgages at U.S. interest rates uh, for their clients. Um, um, let's talk about that and how that true that really happens. Well, well um, for the Bahamas, this would be a game changer for the real estate market. Um, uh, what what you know um, across our archipelago of many islands there is tremendous amount of real estate that is available. Um, we can talk about the significant uh, second home ownership that exists not just in Grand Bahama, but there's a great number just in the island of Abaco. And um, not only do you have second home owners in large numbers, um, um, but, but what has happened after Hurricane Dorian, the second home owners, the, the ones that were, um, particularly in Abaco, they were significant helping with the restoration. So, so could you imagine now that um, Bahamians who are living now in the United States, have built a life in the United States, 
um, being able to say, now I can uh, uh, purchase my second home. And then you have the U.S. citizen that can say, I can now purchase my second home. And, and, and here, here is the significant factor here, is that um, the real estate agents are showing people property from abroad all the time. They're listed, they have them listed on their websites. And now being able to say to their customers, uh, we can help you to get a, a U.S. mortgage at U.S. rates and um, enable them to be empowered to purchase property in the Bahamas. That is really this, super. And this will also apply to the Bahamians living abroad? Yes. I know yes. Bahamians here are scratching their head saying, um, well, you know, can we take advantage of this U.S. mortgage <laughs> at U.S. rates? <laughs> I, I, I wish it was possible. But right now at this juncture, this is what's being offered. I can I can say this, and I've already uh, spoken to um, Ambassador and his team that um, I, I already have a Bahamian that that lives in Florida. That when he heard about the program, he immediately said, "Sign him up," um, uh, because he he has already identified a home, a three bedroom home, right here in Grand Bahama. All he needs now is to sign the papers for the mortgage. And he will purchase the home. And it's going to be a brand new home, which means that the company that owns this subdivision that he's purchasing the home from now has added to their sales. Their sales have increased. Um, and, and, and so this is, this is the kind of economic impact that uh, will take place, is that there'll be an increase in sales. Speaking of economic impact, uh, an island like Grand Bahama, in fact, the entire region really needs it. But an island like Grand Bahama certainly can do with the boost. Uh, how do you oh. see how do you see this benefiting um, 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 the economy of Grand Bahama and even helping to add something different to the economic mix to the economy? It, it would be significant because um, I, I've lived on this island all my life. I, I've not lived anywhere else, so I have seen the the ups in our development and I've also seen where we've regressed. In the real estate market um, right now, it has, been, it has not been the best um, that we have seen in time past. So this now arms real estate agents, developers with the ability to expand their sales. And then imagine this, if a home so local, is, even local realtors can go out there and now reach out and local meaning around the region can go and, exactly. and, and, and bring in an, an American, whomever it is. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, and the, the, the way that things are going to be set up is that the real estate agents, the brokers, the agents, um, the developers register with upturn funds. And once they're registered, they then will be able to uh, submit the applications of their clients. And also, let me just add, since we're talking about it, um, I got a call from a real estate agent in Exuma. And he said to me, um, Pastor, how soon can this program begin? Because he already has a customer that wants to buy property and in order for him to pull it off an American, he says he needs to take advantage of a financing package like what is being offered by upturn funds. That's awesome. Which, uh, if anybody can speak to this, which countries in the region are being focused on initially? All countries in CARICOM, all countries making up the Caribbean. It's a, it's a total package for the Caribbean. And but uh, we have uh, particular emphasis on on the Bahamas because you have the most American tourists, and uh, you have a very large diaspora. Yeah, uh, you're also focusing in on solar factories, something that the region is paying close attention to now, and regional leaders, especially as they pay attention to things like climate change and make it a priority. Um, what is what do you plan on doing in terms of solar factories? Okay, that's such a great question. Now, we have, okay, one of our JV partners, um, we, they, they are one of the largest uh, providers of solar mega plants globally. 
So uh, they will build a mega plant. They build up to about 500 megawatts. I mean, that can handle the whole of the Bahamas. And But here's the amazing thing. They do it with 100% financing. And the model involves building a solar factory to facilitate the building of that, which creates thousands of jobs and also um, creates a solar industry, a solar manufacturing industry. So this is something that I believe can be very relevant for the islands, uh, the Bithidio nation, and uh, would would actually significantly bring down the cost. Now, uh, in countries where this country, where this uh, company has been in and functioned, they've brought down the cost of power to sometimes ten cents, ten cents per kilowatt. Yes, yeah, that, so, that, that's uh, reason to smile. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, I that's know. reason to smile. And here's the thing. And here's the thing. It doesn't add anything to the country's debt ceiling because it's it's funded uh, by the power purchase agreement. So it doesn't add to the debt ceiling. And uh, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't add to national debt the way the deal is structured. Yeah. When we come back, we're going to hear more of upturn uh, uh, upturn funding. Um, it's a company that is regional um, and also looking to empower in particular realtors and assist them but what also is a focus for this company is agriculture and food security of the region something else that is a major concern and focus right now we're going to continue our conversation with the principles of upturn funding and we're also going to hear about that upcoming summit and how you can be a part of it this is beyond the headlines we have much more coming up right after the break What does it mean to be Bahamian? It's so much more than just where you were born. It's using your imagination to achieve the unthinkable. It's our resourcefulness in taking what we have and making it better. It's a connection we share even when miles apart. Our culture runs as deep as our breathtaking seas. And when the heat is on, we get fired up even more. And we know that we perform best when we look out for one this another. Time will At Alive, we never stop because we're built Bahamian strong. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Alive, we are Bahamian. It's smart. Cancer pushes us. We push back, challenging conventional thinking, finding smarter solutions, like advanced genomic testing, a diagnostic tool that lets us see cancer at the molecular level, then helps us find different ways to attack it. That's what makes CTCA one of the leaders in precision cancer treatment. We're not just fighting cancer, we're outsmarting it. Visit our website to learn more about advanced genomic testing. Life is a mosaic of moments. Moments of high energy and moments of peace. Moments of hard work and moments of surprise. Let Aeropost, the Bahamas' newest and biggest online store, usher you into life's moments with over 20 million products. Get the fully landed price and just add to cart. Visit Aeropost.com. Register for an account and choose a delivery location from over 20 plus hub stores and smart parcel locker locations all over New Providence. It's that simple. So whether you're preparing for your first gate, making a presentation on a new job, putting a smile on a loved one's face, or doing nothing at all, let Aeropost.com make it a moment to remember. Aeropost.com. We make shopping simple. The Bahamas Chinese Dragon Boat Association is proud to welcome you to the inaugural Bahamas Dragon Boat Festival at Goodman's Bay, August 20th and 21st. Come and join your Chinese Bahamian family and friends as they display a complete fusion of our cultures. Enjoy the races and delicious Bahamian and local Chinese food. Race heats will be held on Saturday, August 20th with the finals, medal presentation and live entertainment on Sunday, August 21st. Come out and have a really special weekend. Coast 
sponsored and supported by Caribbean Bottling, Burns House, and the Ministry of Tourism. Hey, this is yours truly, Joe Coors, rapping 103.5 to beat. Now, let me tell you something, 242. We got something brand new on deck. Put this number down before I even start. 323-7775. All right? It's called the sound of money. Now, super simple. Rule number one. This the bad boy. Rule number two. This is what counts. All right? Hey, now this game is super duper simple and super duper easy. It's like this. I'm going to take either 20s, 10s, 5s, 50s, 100s. Yeah, I recycle it, but don't worry. But you get the idea, all right? And I'm going to put it in the machine. All you got to do is let me know what I'm putting in the machine, 5, 10, 50s, 20s, and how much it add up to. All right? I'm going to run through it live so you can see exactly what's going on. Shout out to my crack the cord, Island Luck crew. It's all about 103.5 to be. Log on every day, all day. Money, money, money in reach. Welcome back to Beyond the Headlines. This evening, we are focused in on a wonderful, unique initiative uh, for the region to empower uh, in particular, real estate agents and brokers and, and also farmers, which we're going to focus in on on this segment. Uh, we are speaking with the principals of Upturn Funds. We uh, have the CEO and chairman. We also have the Bahamas representative for Upturn Funds. And we also have one of the uh, other executives, Jennifer, who is also joining us as well. Um, Jennifer, that, that uh, conference that's approaching can you tell us about that and how people can get involved? Yes, thank you very much for the opportunity. Yes, how persons can get involved. Um, firstly, we want them to have a full understanding of what Upturn Funds is about and, the, and the, the summit. So they can visit the executive producer's website, which is leadershipaxheadconference.com. Once you head on over to that uh, website, you're going to see uh, about us, the schedule, hospitality, and so on. So what I want for us to understand is how they can participate. You can have a virtual component and you can sign up for a procession, which is a hundred US dollars per session. And you can, if you want to benefit from all three of the days is 550 US dollars. Um, for one day pass is 200 US dollars. So there's a varied budget if you just are particularly interested in one session. I know there's agriculture, which you mentioned before the break, that's very important to Bahamians. Mm -hmm. and, and that is actually on day two. And you can just attend that particular session at $100 and you can register at the link on the, um, just go over to the registration and you can choose that particular day. And then you can come on back and choose the day with respect to um, real estate. So we've made it vary so that you don't have to participate in all three days. Now, there is a specific focus on farming, and rightly so. Uh, farmers and, and leaders, meaning elected officials around the region, are paying attention to that because most Caribbean countries have a food import bill of about a billion dollars, um, which they certainly want to get into. Plus, on top of that, it's the focus on food security and food quality um, in the region. How are... Uh, how is Upturn Funds uh, teaching regional farmers who are steeped in their tradition and their ways um, new techniques and equipping them with the necessary tools needed to have great healthy harvests? Okay, um, well, you would recall we, we did a training in the height of the COVID uh, last year where we started out with around 80 persons, 80 farmers uh, from the Bahamas. And when we did our media tour to promote the, uh, that training, it ballooned up to 2,300 farmers that we trained across the Caribbean with our partners in Israel. The Caribbean Israel Leadership Coalition partnered with Volcani International Partnership to bring that training with the professors to learn about smart farming and, and various tools that they can upscale um, their farming uh, operations. 
And I believe that Pastor Eddie Victor, who was fully involved and, and in, immersed in that opportunity, can speak to the experience and, and tell you more about that. But just to give you an overview, we are actually looking to bring that back as well. And during the summit, uh, executive producer, Danielle Abraham, she's going to be back to tell you more about how we're going to be expanding that opportunity for training across the Caribbean again with our AgriWeb Institute. But we really took off when the interest really, um, not really caught us by surprise, because as you said, we know what's happening with regards to agriculture, but definitely they're interested in the smart farming. And I'll just let Eddie Victor tell you more about how that uh, has been incorporated in the Bahamas from that particular um, session that we had last year. Okay. Yeah, um, I, I got to tell you that that session, um, you know, I you know, I, I consider myself someone that tries to stay on top of, of what's going on in the world. But when I sat in that session, I realized there was a lot that I did not know was going on. And one of the fascinating things in that seminar was the fact that Volcani um, shared um, how you can actually grow crops inside a shipping container. Did you hear what I'm saying? Grow it inside a shipping container. And the principle is, and this is one of the things that um, the nation of Israel has really mastered, is that to, to have a, um, a successful crop, to have an abundant harvest, you need to learn how to control the environment. And so what a shipping container does, it actually enables through um, technology, using computers, sensors, um, to control the environment mm -hmm. inside a shipping container so that you can produce a large yield in your crops and also um, produce it more frequently. That was just oh. one of the valuable um, 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 things that we learned in those um, sessions. And, and I, I mean, I was just taken away. Um, you know, there, there was also, they talked about how they have sensors that um, are actually put, um, you know, for, for uh, crops that are, are done in the fields. They have sensors um, which are monitoring how much water the crops are getting. And it, this enables you to decide on how much you're going to water your crops using, using software and computer technology. Mm -hmm. So, so um, Israel has advanced technology when it comes to agriculture, and uh, Ambassador uh, could just share with uh, you more concerning how um, um, Caribbean Israel Leadership Coalition, through this um, uh, partnership with Volcani, has 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 already entered into an agreement with the government of the Bahamas. To develop oh, so this so this is already something in motion. Um, this whole Israel slash Bahamas slash regional um, uh, partnership to assist farmers regionally on on how to better grow, like you say, and how to because a concern I'll tell you at this climate change conference here in the Bahamas, Ambassador and Jennifer, um, there's a, a, a which I'm sure you're aware, a climate change conference where a number of regional leaders are in attendance is the fact that how do we we're trying to obviously achieve food security. We're trying to grow more of our food, but it is becoming um, uh, contaminated with the, with, with the unprecedented uh, flooding and the storms and, and they're vulnerable, et cetera. And so I, I like the fact that one thing you shared, Pastor Eddie, was the fact that Israel grows in containers, um, shipping containers and, and other things they do to monitor and to ensure, number one, that, that, that I guess it's a, it's a greater harvest it's more in abundance, yes. and, and yes. obviously it's something that it can be relied on and depended on. That is, that's really super. And I know you wanted the ambassador to jump in with more. Yeah, ambassador, uh, please, ambassador, you talk about Volcani further. Okay, thank you so much, Pastor Eddie Victor. Well, Volcani already have uh, a, a relationship with the government of the Bahamas, and right now there's an ongoing project uh, that's going on as we speak uh, to uh, increase the, uh, the, the food security capacity of the country. Now, uh, 
For those of you who don't really know that, I'm also CEO of Caribbean Israel Venture Services Inc. and the founder, and it's a subsidiary and associate company of Optum Funds. Now, one of the things that we have done is that Caribbean Israel Leadership Coalition focuses on increasing the capacity of farmers in the region of the Caribbean, leveraging Israeli expertise, Israeli knowledge, Israeli insight. But what Optal Funds does is bring the investment dollars to scale agriculture up. Oh, and excellent. It, I wanted to ask you about funding and access to funding because yes, that's a major complaint. Yes. I'm sure not just in the Bahamas, in Barbados as well and elsewhere. Yes, 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 yes. So, so I mean, so we do that. So, so example, I was just today having a conversation with, with, with a, one of our clients and we were discussing on, on, on an agri project. And so what we're going to be doing, we are bringing a major um, agri manufacturer and partnering with his land to upscale create agricultural jobs uh, that would serve his country and export globally and bring the investment to do it. So there are tremendous opportunities uh, in the area of agriculture. But what we need to understand is the business side of agriculture. So there are two deficits that we have. We, we, <coughs> we actually have a technology deficit and we have a financing protocol, not deficit. There's a problem across the region in which the region's banking system is very different from the requirements required for international financing. <clears throat> so what you require to access a loan at your local Bahamian bank is very different than what you need to acquire funding with international financing. And that is why many farmers struggle. Uh, they go from promise to promise and are never able to access finance. So what we do, and we have decided to do at this conference is really try to bridge the knowledge gap because there's a huge knowledge gap. Uh, in, in how projects are financed. You know, um, and irrespective of what country you seek to source the finance. I mean, we, we have uh, Optum Funds Middle East. Uh, is, is, it's actually going to be launched within the next 30 days. Even if you go to the Middle East, if you actually go to, to Europe, if you go to the States, the standards for international project financing, yes, sir. international financing is the same. Hmm, that, that is a challenge. You're quite right. Accessing the, the, the funding that's available and that's there, um, especially in our banking system and requirements, et cetera. So that's something I'm sure your organization has to address. Is there a focus on a concern for climate change when it comes to farming? I know that, that these, the Israelis are teaching the region to do it differently. Um, so that, that kind of removes the concern somewhat. But is there a concern? Yes, there is a concern, but um, there are answers to it. Um, I, you, we just have to be more creative. But the creative, the, the creative technology and the innovative technology already exists. We just have to leverage it. And, and that technology tends to many times produce even greater yield than using the soil. Hmm. I want to ask this question. Is there thought to developing perhaps a regional food bank? And what I mean by that, for example, certain countries being identified to grow certain things and whether they sell it or provide it, and there's this exchange, all in an effort to further shore up the, the, the food security and quality for the region as a part of this program Definitely. or focus. Well, those types of discussions are usually done at governmental level. Mm, and okay. I'm, I'm absolutely sure that there's a white paper somewhere uh, with uh, this particular project. However, white papers do not fulfill themselves. Uh, white papers do not just emerge 
and become reality. It takes leadership to drive ideas with and through people into reality. And so sometimes where you have the deficit is that, is that you don't have a vision deficit, but you have a leadership deficit in turning that vision into reality. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there are examples, a country like Guyana uh, is ideal. I mean, we are involved in major projects within Guyana and it's ideal in terms of being able to create uh, my capacity for the region, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, so once again, can you please remind us of the upcoming conference, how people can attend virtually and how they can attend in person? Okay, I'll have our chief communication officer, Jennifer Highland, do that for me. Yes, well, um, there's just shy a few days in here. If you can get a flight out of Bahamas and join us in Barbados, we have been able to um, negotiate with some of the hotels on the south of the island to create packages for persons who want to stay, uh, want to come in person. So we've been able to do that with some of the hotels on the south of the island. And as I said earlier, you can go on to leadershipaxheadconference.com and all of the information is there. But just to recap, um, if you're coming in person, then there is um, pricing for in person. So it's a hundred US dollars per session. And obviously you will be guests of ours. So there's uh, that does not include coffee and breakfast. So we would not treat you uh, and, and, and not feed you. So that would not apply to you, but for um, you can attend a session at 150 US dollars and then just go on over to the beach. If for example, you don't want to talk about gold and then you can just come back on in and join another program for again, another 150 US dollars. But if everything is of interest to you in a particular day, a full day pass, is 250 US dollars. And also if you want to stay the entire three days and benefit from all three of the, all eight of the sectors. And then there are some subsectors that we didn't even get to speak to, but three full days is 700 US dollars. And again, you can just go on over and register and all of the information is there so that you can, you can pick from whichever sector that you want. And Jennifer, how, do, how does one reach, uh, uh, how does one reach the upturn funds? Well, upturn funds, yeah, you can give us a call at 246-429-0895. If you have information outside of what we've discussed or what you've heard, or you've seen something on the website and we have not, 6829 seven.